Hello friends, myself Halavat Ramesh, Department of Chemistry, Laila College, Chennai, University of Madras. And today we will discuss about the brief introduction, brief um, important bits of chemistry, the repeated uh, bits and very very important for such a competitive exams, whatever you can write any exams, the chemistry bits will be repeated. Those important bits I will discuss today with you and uh, you can see that uh, you can write any board, like board exams in SSA. These bits are repeated in so many times. Okay. So let us we will go slide by slide and then we can discuss by each and every bits. Okay. Uh, you can see that uh, before going to discuss that uh, bits, learn chemistry, think chemistry and practice chemistry. So what whatever your work is doing, just you think and learn and practice. In any subject, okay. You can see the first one bit the discovery of electron is dash JJ Thompson. The electron is discovered by JJ Thompson. And next, second one bit you can see here second one bit the discovery of proton is discovered by Goldstein. Third one bit the discovery or discoverer of neutron is James Chadwick. And fourth one bit protons and neutrons together are known as nucleons. What is the meaning of nucleons? Means the proton and neutrons together form a nucleons. And you, you can see the fifth one bit. We know that uh, orbits like uh, electron rotating path is called orbit. So K, K, L, M, N, O, like that they are giving the numberings, the orbit name. So K cell is having the latest, latest energy. Okay. KSL is having the latest energy. Next you can see the next you can see the sixth one. Energy is released when an electron is added to the neutron atom in a gaseous state is called as electron affinity. What is electron affinity? The energy is released when electron is added to the neutral atoms in a gas state that is called electron affinity. Mostly this bit will ask you in uh, like uh, no most of this bit will ask you in every um, competitive exams and the two marks question answer is very important sixth one. Electron is released when an energy is released when an electron is added to the neutral atom in a gas state that is called electron affinity. Suppose they will ask you what is electron affinity for two marks. Okay. You can simply give the answer. The energy is released when an electron is added to the neutral atoms in a gas state is called electron affinity. And sec seventh one say the quantum theory of radiation is proposed by Max Planck. Quantum theory, theory is proposed by the Max Planck. <coughs> Next you can see eighth one bit. Eighth one bit here. The shape of P orbital is called Dumbbell bell shape, shape of orbital. And next one, shape of S orbital is spherical. And tenth one, the shape of D orbital is double dimmel. These out of three compulsory will come the one bit every complete exam. S, P, D orbital shapes. S orbital means spherical shape, and P orbital means dumbbell shape, and D orbital shape is double dimmel shape. This keep your point. Keep in your brain this book, which is very important. And you can see the eleventh one. When an electron jump from lowest orbit to highest orbit, there is there is a dash of energy. If the electron will jump from lowest orbit to highest orbit, orbit means nothing but of electron rotating path. Okay. So like K L M N O, you are giving the numbering, no? So electron will jump from Lowest orbit to highest orbital that is called as absorption energy. Absorption energy will form, right? Then twelfth one bit. See when an electron jumps from highest orbit to lowest orbit, that is called emission energy. So this is also very important. What is emission energy? When the electron will jump from highest orbital to lowest orbit, there is a called emission of energy. Suppose if the electron will jump from lowest to highest orbit. That is called absorption energy. Say it's a tricky logic. What is the absorption energy and emission energy? This is very important. Okay. So the electron will jump from highest orbit to lowest orbit. There is a emission of energy. 
then you can see the thirtieth one when there are a two electrons in an orbit they have a dia spin suppose if you have a electron in the the an one orbital so that they have the opposite spins right opposite spin arrow mark from side and down side opposite spin and next one see the fourteenth one unit of Units of atomic radius. How you measure that atomic radius? The length is angstroms. And fifteenth one bit, the unit of electron affinity is kilo calories for joules and electron volts. Okay. Next in C sixteenth bit. Sixteenth bit. Das proposed the particles and wave nature of the electron. De Broglie is proposed the first particles and wave nature of the electron and seventh one bit 17th bit a complete transfer of electron from one atom to another atom leads to formation of ionic bond what is ionic bond this is also very important bit. the complete transfer of electron from one atom to another one atom leads to form a ionic bond so suppose the if the oxygen molecule having the suppose One lone pair of electrons will donate to the completely to another one molecules that form is ionic bond formation. Okay, and next one see the eighteenth one sharing of electron between two atoms leads to formation of a covalent bond. Sharing of electron between two atoms leads to form a formation of covalent bond. Okay, sharing of electron how they will share by the equal equal amount of the sharing that is called covalent bond. You can see the nineteenth one. Electron accepting substances are called oxidizing agent, like acid. Electron donating substances twenty bit. You can see electron donating substances are called reducing agent, like base. Next twenty one bit. Ammonia NH three has dash shape, pyramid shape. This is also very important. Ammonia is having what shape? Pyramid shape. Next one see the twenty two. Oxygen has dash. Of electron in water, two lone pair of electrons will never be in oxygen in water. Next twenty three bit shape of water molecule is a angular or V shape. Shape of water molecule is V shape or angular. Next two shape of PCl five molecule is trigonal by parent. What is the shape of the PCl five? Most of the exam will come this bit. This is very important. So PCl5 shape is trigonal by pyramidal shape. Okay. Next you can see 25th bit. The shape of carbon dioxide molecule is the shape of carbon dioxide molecule is linear. What is the shape of the carbon dioxide molecule is linear. And next one is say 26th bit. The first classification of element is attempted by Daubigny. Who classified the first? Elements like metals, groups, and periods. The first he classified by the Dauber name. Then he came to the Mendeleev the later. Okay. The Das periodic table has a seven periods. Modern periodic table have the how many periods? Seven periods, right? The first period has two elements. This is also important bit. And twenty ninth bit, the seventh period is incomplete. Elements will be available. Then 30 bit in a group of in a in a group the electronegativity dash from top to bottom decrease the electronegativity from top to bottom in a group. Next one is 30 first bit. This is very important. S block and P block elements are called dash elements, representative elements. So if you see that S block and P block elements mostly they are called representative elements. And thirty-two transition elements belong to dash elements, d-block elements. What are the another name of the d-block element? Transition elements. What is the transition element? Another name? D-block elements. Then thirty-three bit lanthanides and actinides are placed in dash element. Lanthanides and actinides are comes under the f-block element. Yes, block element means nothing but of lanthanide and actinides are placed elements. Okay. Let's take in see the slide thirty four. The general electronic configuration of representative element is N S one to 
NS2, NS, NP5. This is the electronic configuration representative elements, right? Now, inert gas is placed in a zero group elements. What are the inert gas? Helium, neon, argon, krypton, xenon, radon. That is called inert gas or zero element gas or neutral gas. They will not participate in reaction, right? So, zero element reactions are the another name is the inert gas. Next, you can see 36 bit group A and group group first A and second A are strong reducing agents. What is the group A and second A are the strong reducing agent? You can see the group. 70 elements are strong oxidizing agents. These bit are very important. Next, you can see the 38 bit chemical formula of Epsom salt is MgSO4 7H2. MgSO4 7H2. Then 29, a substance that absorbs the moisture and fumes when the exposed to A that is called hygroscopic agent. What is the hygroscopic? This is also very important. Sometimes they will ask it to max speed. What is hygroscopy? A substance that absorbs the moisture and the fumes when the exposed to A is called hygroscopic. Hygroscopic agent. A substance that absorbs the moisture. If you see that our atmosphere, they have everywhere the moisture is there. And the fumes when the exposed to the A is. Suppose if you take that whatever any hygroscopic elements like a beryllium chloride, this one of the hygroscopic elements, you can react with A in the moisture, it will be formed in fumes. So that is called hygroscopic agent. Hygroscopic agent means whatever any agent will be react with the moisture and it forms a fumes. That is called hygroscopic agent. Next of 40 bit B sealed beryllium chloride is a covalent and hygroscopic one of the example. And next you see 31st solute plus solvent form a solution. What is the solution? The addition of solute and solvent that is called solution. Next you see 42 bit. The super saturated solution is unstable. The super saturated solutions are unstable. And next one see naphthalene is soluble in corrosion. So, naphthalene is only soluble in corrosion. Next, 44 bit, the common name of the sodium thiosulfide is hypo. You know what is the hypo? Another name? Sodium thiosulfide is called hypo. Then, soda is a solution of carbon dioxide in water. Soda means nothing but of carbon dioxide in a water. That is called soda. Next one, see 46. If N is the number of moles of solute and V is the value in a liter, then N by V is a molarity. What is the molarity? N is the number of moles of solute V is value in a liter then N by V is the molarity. Okay. Acetic acid is a weak electrolyte. What is that special character of acetic acid? Acetic acid is one of the weak electrolyte. Next is C48. Solubility of a substance depend on nature of solute and Solvent and temperature. The solubility substance is depending on the nature of the solute, solvent, and the temperature. Unit of molarity is moles per liter. Okay. Next one say 50 bit. This is also very important. 50 bit. The 50 bit concentration is defined as the amount of solute present in unit value of solution. Okay. The concentration is defined. Has the amount of has the amount of solute present in unit value of solution. So amount is the solute present in the unit value of solution. Next one 51 strong acids ionize up to 100 percent. Strong acid means completely ionize up to 100 percent. Weak acids analyze up to less than 100 percent. That is called weak acid. Weak acid means nothing but of less than ionize the 100 percent. Strong acid means ionize completely up to 100%. Next, you can see the acids and base lessons. That is very important. The pH of acid is the range is 0 to 7. What is the acid's pH range? 0 to 7. The pH of the base in the range is 7 to 14. Base is the pH range is 7 to 14. Then pH of the sodium chloride solution is 7. What is the, what is the pH of 
सोडियम क्लोराइड इज सेवन फिफ्टी